All right, guys, let's see how we can solve under question from the third chapter of the Merriam textbook in Geo Mechanics. And we have a cable AB that passes over the small ideal pulley C without a change in its tension. And the question is asking what length of cable CD is required for static equilibrium in the position shown, and also what is the tension T in cable CD. So from the question, we know that we are in equilibrium and we can use our equilibrium equations. Uh, if we just draw the free body diagram for this point, so we're going to have a free body diagram of a particle. And since the question is saying small ideal pulley C, so we're going to uh, just neglect the radius of this pulley. So basically have a particle. We're going to have the tension in this cable. You can call it T. The question is telling us to call it T. So we have the tension in the, the cable on top. And also we have the 50 pound weight that is applying vertically and since we have one single cable that goes around that pulley we can have the same tension in here this is also 50 pounds again this is a one single cable and we know this angle is 45 degrees so if that's 45 degrees this angle here would be 45 degrees as well and we can move on to our equilibrium equation Let's just call our X and Y in here. So sum of all forces in X equals zero. And for now, we can just call this angle here alpha. At the end of this question, we need this angle alpha in order to find the length of the cable CD. So the forces that we have in X direction would be T cosine of alpha. So it will be to the right. So positive minus 50 cosine of 45 degrees equals zero. That's pretty much everything in X. Let's move on to our y equations. So we're going to have t sine of alpha plus 50 cosine of alpha, 45 degrees. And we also have minus 50 pounds. I'm just going to show this here. And this is also equal to zero. And now we're left up with two equations with two unknowns. So if we just bring from the second equation, bring t sine of alpha on one side, we're going to have 50 minus 50 cosine of 45 degrees and from the first equation we're going to have t cosine of alpha is equal to 50 cosine of 45 degrees and let's call this one call this one two and if we just divide the equation one by the second equation the t will be cancelled out and we're going to have sine over cosine which will be the tangent of alpha and on the right side we're going to have 50 over 50 cosine of 45 degrees, you can cancel out 52 and minus one. So the alpha in here would be basically the tangent inverse of one over cosine of 45 degrees minus one. Let's see what we get for that. So tangent inverse of one divided by cosine of 45 minus one. And this is gonna give us 22.5 degrees so the alpha would be 22.5 degrees and finding the t is pretty easy after this we can just pick one of the equations just go with the first one so t sine of 22.5 is equal to actually i'm gonna go with the second one because it's easier t cosine of 22.5 is equal to 50 cosine of 45 degrees so the t in here would be 50 cosine of 45 divided by cosine of 22.5. Let's see what we get. So the T will be 38.27 pounds. So we found the tension in the cable. And if we look at this right triangle that I'm showing in yellow, we found this angle is 22.5 degrees. We have this side two feet. So if we just do a simple and since we are interested in the hypotenuse or length of CD, uh, sine of 22.5 is going to give us 2 over CD. So we should be able to find CD, 2 over CD. So CD here is basically 2 divided by sine of 22.5, which is going to be 5.23 feet. And this is going to be the final answer for this question. Hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions and you guys take care. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.